there, I'm Jamie and I oversee Miraverse template reviews. Today, I'm excited to walk you through the process of publishing a template on Miraverse. Miraverse is a library of thousands of community templates made by and for Miro users. By sharing your workflows and frameworks in Miraverse, you're inspiring fellow users with new ways to work in Miro and jumpstart their next project. Plus, you have the opportunity to reach millions of like-minded peers with your expertise. Ready to share your ideas? Let's dive in. Step one, logging in and setting up a profile. To get started, head over to Miraverse and click Submit a Template in the top right corner. You'll need to log in with your registered Miro profile. If you don't have one yet, don't worry. You can set up a Miraverse profile easily. If you'd like to submit on behalf of a company or team, you'll need to create a profile using a single email that's connected to a Miro account. Step two, choosing your board. Once logged in, choose the board you'd like to submit as a template to Miraverse. Only the boards you own or co-own will appear in the drop-down list. If you're submitting on behalf of your company or team, make a copy of the board. That way, you'll own the content and it will appear within the drop-down. Note that when you submit a template to Miraverse, we create a copy of your original board, which becomes the live version people see and use in Miraverse. Step three, providing details. Now, let's fill in some essential details about your template. Template title. Choose a clear, straightforward title that describes your template's purpose. Categories. Select up to three relevant categories based on your template's use cases. Role. Choose the main role or function your board benefits, like engineering or product. Description. Next, write a thorough description with details like why you created the template, the goal of the template or what it helps you accomplish, who it's for, when to use it, and how to use it with step-by-step -step instructions. Use H2s for section headers and H3s for subheaders. Use bulleted or numbered lists to make the content easy to browse and read. Consider using Miro Assist, Miro's AI tool, to help you craft a thorough description. Cover image. Upload a screenshot of your template or a part of the example template. Make sure neither the Miro grid is visible in the background nor frame titles. Capture a portion of your template that best represents its use case. Ensure that it's compelling and easy to understand at a glance. This is the image that people will see as they browse Miraverse for templates like yours. Finally, you can add an optional visual explanation or demonstration using audio and video. This is a great way to walk users through your template, especially if it's complex. The simplest way to do this is by using Miro's talk track feature in your board. Step four, preview and submission. Before you hit submit, you'll have the chance to preview your template. Once you're happy with it, click submit. You'll get a confirmation on screen as well as a confirmation via email. Step five, review process. Your template will then be reviewed by the Miraverse submissions team, typically within two business days. You'll receive updates via email regarding the status of your submission. If your template needs further edits, you'll receive feedback to make it publish ready. Once approved, your template will be published on Miraverse for the world to see. Final notes. If you need to make changes to your submission before or after it's published, simply head to your Miraverse profile page where you can edit, preview, or delete it at any time. And if you have any questions along the way, feel free to reach out to the Miraverse team at miraverse at miro.com. That's it. You've just shared your creativity with the world through Miraverse. Thanks for watching and happy publishing.